If there's anybody out there wondering why it is that people are rooting for Dylan Dennis over Logan Paul and yet they're kind of confused why somebody is actually rooting for somebody who got choked out by um, a bouncer, uh, let me go ahead and explain the reason why. is like the first guy in my girl's DMs as soon as she started to go viral with the Jason Love thing. Uh, I guess he says he's Armenian or whatever, but uh, you're a perv, so let's just throw that out. The fucking angel. Like all I want is like a big fat sausage just destroying my body. So you guys obviously got a bit of a preview there on what's exactly going on here. The whole Nina Agdahl stuff, the fact that Logan Paul asked her to marry him a long time ago. And of course, this back and forth that these two men are having, uh, they're going at it, of course. And it's actually kind of hilarious. You've got Logan Paul doing these things where he releases this video. And then Dylan Dennis turns right back around and says that uh, this video was edited. Here's what really and truly happened. Which, of course, uh, makes you might think that maybe this entire thing is not as uh, scripted as a lot of uh, this um, pre-fight stuff is. But then again, though, at the same time, when you're talking about another man's uh, fiance, wife-to-be, then obviously things look a little bit more real. However, this video is also a bit of a cautionary tale about that because I have done a few videos recently on body count, why it matters, stuff like that. And of course, when you look at Nina Agdahl and you look at all the tweets that Dylan has put up, some of which are real, and of course, some of them, of course, are Photoshopped. Like, for example, there is one involving Joe Biden that I thought was kind of funny. I'm waiting one. I'm waiting for one of Trump. I'm actually waiting. Uh, I'm actually waiting for one with DeSantis or uh, one with Kamala Harris or something like that. I'm not trying to say that Nina is not straight, which obviously is just pretty obvious that she really and truly loves the, uh, you know. But the thing is this right here. Dylan is going in this direction to go after her, obviously for a reason, and I'm going to be talking about this video even though it is that a fact is that I've not actually wanted to touch this issue, but why the hell not? Let's go ahead and take a stab at it. So, Logan Paul, the same guy who uh, profited off a family's tragedy in Japan, seeing a, I can't really say the word because obviously YouTube has this thing about uh, the phrase self-deletion that... Uh, they don't want to put up here. Of course, he's been accused of crypto scams. Of course, there was also the uh, the boxing match, the exhibition with Floyd Mayweather, which I think actually made Floyd look a lot worse because the guy is like in his late 40s, early 50s, and he just figured he would wipe his ass with his remaining legacy and get in the ring for what was obviously a fight that was not even real, stage, worked, whatever you might want to say. Now, in the case of Jake... I'm not entirely sold on what's going on there, but at the same time, though, given the fact that your own brother believes this whole Nina Agdahl thing is a bit of a weakness for you, uh, yeah, people are obviously going to probably pile on you, and they're probably going to call you a cuck because of Nina Agdahl's body count, okay? It's a very, very high one. But I don't think the situation has helped when this guy right here steps in. All right, so Logan Paul has an upcoming boxing match against this Dylan Dennis guy, and Dylan's been going on a little bit of a campaign trying to embarrass Logan Logan by pointing out all the guys that his now fiance has spent time with before Logan. Uh, this is Ja Rule. Dylan, I don't know how hip hop fluent you are, but this is one of the goats. What's love got to do with it? Huh? I'm not always there when you call, but I'm always on time. Uh, Dylan, this is one of the goats. If his girl has actually spent time in the presence of Ja Rule, then he should be proud of it. Personally, I think the more men that your woman has spent time with before you get her, the more desirable she becomes. How about that, Dylan? Also, why was Dylan Dennis like the first guy in my girl's DMs as soon as she started to go viral with the Jason Love thing? Uh, I guess he says he's Armenian or whatever, but uh, you're a perv, so let's just throw that out. Well, Adam, Dylan was probably in Lena the Plug's DMs because he probably thought she was easy after that video where she got BBC. Yeah, I, I know that you were you were like good with that, and of course, you're basically uh, humiliating yourself, going through a bit of a humiliation ritual because everybody now knows you're a cuck. It, it's, it's it's very very weird because anytime you have a debate with somebody on this issue, and I want to say it's Destiny primarily. He'll, uh, when somebody mentions his wife, he'll say something like, "Why are you guys so interested in my wife?" Well, the answer is pretty obvious. She bones other dudes and people, quite frankly, are looking for an opportunity to get off. So why are people, why are people choosing Dylan over Logan? Well, like I said before, Logan's reputation is not exactly one that people really and truly should, uh, should actually like. Now, 
I'm not somebody who has much of an opinion on him. I'm just going off of other opinions with this right here. But as I said before, some of the things that he has done, and then now, of course, he's married a girl who's got a very, very high body count, makes him kind of an easy mark to kind of root against. I don't know if I said this earlier, but Dylan Dennis has also got some things working against him as well. He was uh, heavily involved with Conor McGregor, jiu-jitsu coach. A lot of people have referred to him as basically the um, Wish.com version of Conor McGregor, even though I haven't really seen much of a fight resume that warrants me thinking that maybe he could go in there and win this fight. In fact, the matter is that this entire thing looks like it just may be staged and scripted because, let's face it, it's the fight game. Even if the fight's not scripted, obviously the trash talk was going to be to a certain degree because therefore you have to sell the fight. And obviously Nina, uh, Nina Hagtall's uh, body count and past is probably going to further uh, solidify that. However, the thing is this right here. People see this and people automatically jump to the side of Dylan because they automatically don't like Logan. And like I said before, yeah, well, I didn't say this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it now. You've got a lot of people asking the question, where the hell is our society gone? Why are we rooting for the Wish.com version of Conor McGregor over Logan Paul? Why is this the case? Dude, it's freaking Logan Paul. The guy did, in fact, uh, profit off of a family's tragedy. The guy's fans are extremely young. A lot of people don't think he's a very good influence. A lot of people don't even know Dylan Dennis, even though he got choked out by a bouncer a while back, who I believe later on turned out to be a chocolatier. Yes, even in this case right here, we've gotten so low that we're having to choose between two guys that, quite frankly, are not of high moral character. And what makes matters worse is this. While, while Dylan is trolling Nina, while Dylan is trolling Logan, she eventually sent a cease and desist, and of course she is suing him now. But now you've got this little ordeal. In a scumbag, and if, if it wasn't true what was being, like, his, all the stuff I put out about his girl is real. Everything is real, and that's the only reason it works. And I never said anything about her. I never put, like, you're a whore, this or that. I just put pictures up, to, and I just let the people decide. So that's how it went. And, like, I think it would only work against Logan. Like, if I was talking about Dustin Poirier or something like that or someone else, I don't think it would have worked, as, like, you know, the same way. So that's my opinion on it. Dylan, and I'm not getting any back end. So he's making all the money off this, and now he's trying to sue me. So, like, him, man. So, yeah. What do you think, Aiden? I'm saying, are you – so if you're being sued up the ass – um, are you guys still gonna fight? Yeah, it's we're supposed to, yeah. But like, what's the point in this? Like, I'm getting another lawsuit, another lawsuit every single day. I have to go to the gym. I got guys waiting at the gym trying to serve me papers. I can't go to the gym. Now they talk about the apartment, and I'm trying to get swatted all the time. Like, it's oh, welcome to the club. To we've all we've all been swatted. Me, Andrew, and you now. So, you know, welcome to the club. I, I guess so. Yeah, it's just bullshit, bro. It just with the, the now, I'm not saying that Dylan Dennis um, got swatted by Logan Paul or whatnot. I mean, there are some people on the platform that uh, have had other people swatted. For example, Tim Poole has been swatted a few times, if you guys have ever followed him. Ian Miles Chiang, a guy who lives in Malaysia, who's never been to the United States, who's on Twitter, who talks about American politics all the time. A real true grifter has had people swat himself. Andy Worski, I want to say there was actually an incident where the uh, dog was flashbanged and the dog actually died. Swatting is not exactly what we call something that people of high moral character do. It's something that they, quite frankly, should not be doing. It's extremely dangerous. But still at the same time, though, it's a bit of a cautionary tale. And as I mentioned with Adam22 earlier, who, by the way, allowed his wife to get straight up BBC'd, who also went through his own little cuck ritual, it's very easy for people to look at Logan Paul and say, look, man, you're a bit of a cuck, you know, you've been with this girl, she's got this much of a body count, which, by the way, she obviously did that when she was younger, and I have talked about this in previous videos. Now, me personally, I would never, ever, ever want to date someone that's uh, uh, been through the ringer like that, but then again, though, at the same time, though, as you get older, obviously, if you want to get a wife or something, you're probably going to adjust a little bit. The thing is, this right here, though, Logan's not that old of a guy. He's actually still relatively young, and you would wonder with his status, he might could have done a little bit better. So by that definition alone, a lot of people are automatically going to choose the side of Dylan Dennis, who's bringing this up and obviously having a lot of fun trolling Logan about this. And then there are other things that Logan Paul has done that has made people jump on the Dylan Dennis train. Now, guys, I got this right here from Candace Owens, but obviously I knew that this little thing did in fact exist. Let me go ahead and roll this for you, and I'll come back on the other end and we'll discuss Logan it Paul on his podcast, Impulsive, speaking out 
against white people who need to check their own privilege. Take a listen. I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are delusional and you are part of the problem. Now, when he predictably received backlash for yelling at white people for the simple crime of being white, he then said that these were all just white supremacists, right? Because obviously, if anyone had an issue with this, including me, it's because you're a white supremacist. And then he and his person on the right, whose name I don't even know, sort of attacked me on the show of being like, you know, a black white supremacist. Like, how could you not understand that this, that all white people are guilty for the sin of being white? So these are the sorts of things. And then, of course, when he's in trouble, he suddenly becomes a conservative that people don't like Logan Paul for and Dylan Dennis obviously being among them. But when Logan Paul decided to make a comment regarding Dylan Dennis's other, well, this is when things got really bad for Nina Agdahl. I want to express that I do... Yeah, basically saying check your white privilege, stuff like that. If there's something I cannot stand is somebody who's constantly telling people to check their privilege when they've got all the privilege in the world with his actual money and status. And there's a lot of people out there who don't have the privileges that Logan does or Jake. I mean, at least Jake talks about fighter pay and is trying to get people paid and stuff like that, even though I still think he's a bit of a grifter and he's got his own crypto schemes as well. He seems to be like a much, much better human being. And obviously, Jake has learned through his brother's example uh, not to mess around with girls who got body counts the size of Arlington National Cemetery. I know I've said that a little bit too much and it may be in bad taste, but quite frankly, I can't think of a place much, much bigger. And I'm a veteran myself, so therefore I think I can get away with this. Now, let me go ahead and say one more thing too before we get to the next clip. Because obviously, Candace brought some other stuff. And like I said, this is a cautionary tale, not just a, a video about why it is that people prefer Dylan to win this fight over Logan. It's this right here. That little guy that he's got beside him, the little pip squeak the ugly dude there that right there is probably adding to the frustration of people and they would really and truly love to see logan get knocked out me personally i could care less i'm just here to explain to you guys why this is the and case. nina agdahl's body count and everything that she has said in her past which by the way i'll roll some more of this here in a second just kind of adds to it let me explain something to you guys about cucks okay cucks are not exactly what we call men that are to be liked. Think about it really quick. You get married to a girl and you find out that she's been with this, that, that, and the other, and people eventually begin to talk. They may begin to make fun of you, all that type of stuff there. It's another one of the reasons why it is that you should be concerned about a lady's body count before you get involved with her. But cucks, on the other hand, and cuck holding, that's a little bit different. Kind of like Adam-22, who would go online and post these videos. Of course, they were mostly private videos of him having sex with other women, including his girlfriend at the time, Lena the Plug. Of course, his wedding present to her was to allow her to get BBC'd by a very, very large man, a guy who does this type of thing for a living, and automatically people began to say, you're a cuck. Now, granted, there may be a bit of a double standard here, but for the purpose of this video, any man who lets his wife get boned by other dudes has got some serious problems. I mean, seriously, you got some serious problems. I understand that Adam-22 can get any woman in the world that he wants, but the minute that you let your wife go out and do somebody else, your stock drops about tenfold. I mean, there's just not much stock there, and a lot of men are going to actually lose a lot of respect for you. There are some people who may respect the game, seeing how it was that the person may have gotten paid, but at the end of the day, most people are just going to look at you and say that you sold your soul for the almighty dollar. Now, in the case of Logan Paul, this is obviously a little bit different, but when you factor in what happened in Japan, when you factor in the crypto scams, when you factor in not only the crypto scams, but then you factor in all the other BS that he has done, you factor in what's going on now with Nina Agdahl, it's pretty obvious that people do, in fact, would prefer to have Dylan Dennis win this fight, even though I personally don't believe he will because it's such a massive uh, size advantage. And, of course, him saying that uh, Logan isn't anything that's really to worry about is just more and more and more of the trash talk he learned when he was around Conor McGregor. But back to Agdahl and why this right here is such a very important issue. Let me go ahead and roll a few minutes of this. I'll come back on the other side, and we'll really get down to it. To troll Logan Paul on Twitter. Take a look. Yeah. I sucked a d in a football stadium full of people once. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing better than dessert is sex. I don't really think penises are that pretty, so I prefer you to hide it inside. 
cash relief. Okay, it's very difficult to watch that. If you are now a 31-year-old woman, as Nina is, and you're looking back on things that you did because you thought it was funny and you thought it was cute in your 20s that are now on camera, and it's now all being dug up because a MMA fighter has gotten upset with your significant other. It actually gets worse. Take a listen. Are there any foods that make either of you gag? Um... My gag reflex is pretty strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to say, it, okay. it'll take, it'll take, it'll okay. take a lot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, you went further. Right. Okay. <laughs> we're talking about food. I don't even know where we're at right now. <laughs> what are you guys okay. talking about? So you understand what's happening. Dylan Dennis is waking up every single morning and he is posting things, by the way, that Nina Agdal has posted herself in the past, things that she has said publicly. Here's one such example. Every morning he is waking up on Twitter and he is posting good morning as he trolls Logan Paul ahead of this fight with a sexual picture of Nina. Now, you might say this feels like revengeful. What does she have to do with everything? I can agree with all of that commentary, but it's not the point that I am arriving at. Nina Agdal is a very important case study for young women, right? There are so many women that believe that they can go down this route of modern feminism, that they can get attention for saying outrageous things, that they can get attention for being overtly sexual. You know, yesterday we... There are three things in this video that we're going to be focusing on. Number one, we're going to be talking about why it is that people want Dylan Dennis to win this fight. Number two, we're also going to be talking about Nina Agdahl because this is a bit of a cautionary tale. And uh, number three, we're going to be talking about why it is that Logan Paul, he's screwed either way regardless what happens in this fight. You know, it's kind of sad, but I got to bring this up because I think it's important. And even though I'm not allowed to show you guys the clip due to copyright, I, I want to go ahead and kind of bring this up. Did you ever see the show, Chappelle Show? Do you guys remember the episode? If you did, please comment below. If you guys ever saw the episode, The uh, Mad Real World, what happened was that this white guy was staying with a bunch of black people, and of course, um, he brought his girlfriend home. Of course, he brought her to the apartment. And it's say home, this wasn't really it, but still at the same time, it was basically a knockoff of the Real World TV series on MTV. And uh, eventually, Charlie Murphy brings in a guy that just got out of prison named Lysol, and, of course, uh, they end up, Lysol ends up screwing uh, this guy's girl. Then after that, you know, he's recording it. And, of course, you know, if you guys probably seen it, you may remember the sketch. And then, of course, later on, eventually, what happens is, is that uh, Charlie Murphy's character eventually does her. And then as the guy's leaving the house after he's been booted off the show, uh, Dave Chappelle's character that he's playing on by himself, Tron, just says, I miss with Katie, too. That... That's kind of what this entire thing feels like to me. So let's get down to it. You guys obviously saw that. Candace, by the way, was on the Whatever podcast here recently talking about uh, hoflation and stuff like that. I did a bunch of videos reacting to that podcast, giving you guys my honest thoughts on, of course, body counts, why it's important, stuff like that there. Nina Agdahl did a lot of this stuff, yes, when she was younger. She was very, very much into feminism, like a lot of young ladies are. They get into it, and of course, they become much, much more ideologically, uh, much more ideological. And of course, after a while, they begin to grow up. When you grow up, you get older, you start to see things a little bit differently. Sometimes your, your opinions may change. Sometimes your political opinions will change. Sometimes your thoughts on the world itself will change. Your overall worldview will, in fact, adjust. And that right there may have been what happened with Nina Agdahl. Of course, she's been with Leonardo DiCaprio and God knows I don't know how many other men in the world. The fact of the matter is this right here. Of course, she's grown up. Of course, she's got a past as well. And as I've said on multiple occasions, uh, I would never, ever, ever date someone with a body count like this. It would horrify me. It would absolutely drive me crazy to find out that my wife had been with this many men. Now, obviously, Logan does not care about this. This is his decision. If he wants to go through with this and get made fun of by every man in the world, that is his choice. That is his decision. It is something that he has got to live with, even though we pretty much already know this marriage is probably not going to last. But Dylan Dennis has already buried him in the court of public opinion. That right there is the big problem here. You've already been buried here. Any possibility that Logan Paul could have ever had somewhere in his future to kind of fix things and adjust things in his life, especially when it comes to, um, I don't know, maybe his uh, dealings, personality. And by the way, it's really, it's, it's, it's really hilarious because before the fight with Floyd Mayweather and before the incident in Japan, 
You could have come away thinking that maybe Logan was more likable than Jake, especially given the fact that Jake, of course, has done all this crazy stuff, pranks, scaring kids, all the videos, bringing in porn stars, crap like that, making dudes hunt one another. Yeah, I've seen enough of Jake Paul to kind of make up my own mind, but of course, here I am saying the same thing. He's also a young too, but he's been on social media his entire life. Social media can kill somebody, especially one in the workplace, but obviously Jake and Logan are not concerned about that. This right here is a situation where Logan does not win either way. If he wins the fight, people are still going to look at him. They're still going to look at his girl. They're going to look at Nina Agdahl and say, dude, you are married to something, quite frankly, that uh, cannot be satisfied because of all the stuff she's had in the past. If he loses the fight, people are just going to pile on him much, much more. And if Dylan Dennis magically wins the fight, which I personally would prefer, even though I don't really care about these two guys, uh, then obviously his stock is going to go through the roof. Fact of the matter is that Logan Paul lost this entire thing the minute it got started. It's just how it is. He's already lost this entire situation, regardless of what happens. Even if he goes out there and absolutely destroys Dylan Dennis, the only thing Dylan Dennis is going to get is good old-fashioned notoriety. He's just going to carry that into his next fight because now all of a sudden Dylan's going to be a bit of a draw for at least one more fight payday. That's the truth about this situation. Fact of the matter is, Logan Paul does not win this situation regardless. He does not win either way. Even if he KOs Dylan Dennis in the first round in an extremely embarrassing fashion, he's already lost this entire situation. And that, my friends, is the reason why it is that this entire thing is a cautionary tale and why it is that people want Dylan Dennis to win this fight and why it is that Logan Paul, quite frankly, is screwed either way. With that right there being said, guys, make sure you guys hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please consider subscribing. Leave a comment in the comment section. I would love to get you guys' thoughts on this. Share the video. Send the video out. And I will send you guys later.